Do you remember last week when you asked me about the sunnah and what it means, the definition? Yeah. Have you heard of bid'ah? Or did we speak about bid'ah as well? We didn't speak it, I've heard of it though. Okay, so bid'ah is something which is considered an innovation. That's the translation of the word, right? But the word bid'ah Islamically is a newly invented way of worship which has no basis in the religion. Meaning that it's not something that the Prophet Muhammad did or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated. So that being the case, if somebody does any act of worship, like and it's not legislated, it's not something that Allah has told him to do, commanded him to do, or the Prophet did himself, then it's considered a bid'ah and it will be rejected. It's considered a newly invented matter, right? And it won't be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the evidence for this is the hadith of Aisha anha, where she said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told her or said, whoever innovates in our affair, meaning in Islam, something that's not from it, it will be rejected. Okay, it won't be accepted. Now, someone might think that the anything can be a bid'ah, but you have things which are not considered bid'ah, like people's customs and their practices, i.e. things which are not considered worship. Right, so having a microphone, for example, which is not in and of itself an aspect of worship, isn't considered an innovation or bidder. This is something which benefits the prayer or another custom which is not considered worship, right? So that's why you find newly invented things in the worldly life. That's perfectly fine. We're speaking about ibadah or worship here. One last point, which is really important. Someone might say, okay, that's a good bidder, i.e. it's a bidder hasana, right? In Islam, there's no such thing as a good bid'ah because if it's an innovation in worship, and it's it's inherently wrong, misguidance, and unaccepted by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So, is that clear with regards to this word bid'ah, what it means, and how dangerous it is as it pertains to the religion of Islam? Yeah, that clarifies also.